for the seniors as we're all getting ready to go off on our different ways, God, that you'll guide our paths and help us see what you really want us to do and your will for us, God. And I just pray for this chapel that everyone is able to remember the good times we've had together and that everyone just has a great rest of the day. Amen, God. So, uh, welcome to the Senior Chapel for the class of 2017. So, uh, So, as I stand up here today before all of you, the awesome class of 2017, fellow less unfortunate uh, underclassmen, <laughs> my high school classmates, faculty, administrators, and parents, I can't help but remember sitting in the same gym one year ago at the last year's senior assembly. It feels like yesterday I was sitting in the bleachers listening to Paola's speech with a million thoughts in my head. I was thinking, we're going to be seniors next year. I still have to take the SAT, the ACT again. I don't know what colleges I'm going to apply to. I probably already missed some college application uh, deadline. I sh don't know if I should listen to my advisor and take the four AP classes he wants me to and kill myself. Um, um, I was wondering why we were already two months behind the eighth graders in homecoming skit preparations. Um, I was wondering what it would be like to be in a show in the new theater, and I was kind of wondering if we would have a new theater. Um, Wondering where I should park next year, wondering when the skip day should be, when should senior prom be, who should I take? Uh, what am I gonna do for twin day? Can we all, and I was wondering, can we really shamelessly revisit all of our prior homecoming skips just because we're seniors? <laughs> and um, I was wondering what it's gonna be like doing everything for the last time at TKA. So clearly, if you juniors are anything like me, you're feeling a similar building pressure and a growing sense of responsibility that comes with becoming a senior class that's in the class of TK. And if this stress isn't already enough, I'm just gonna add to your anxiety real quick by sharing just a short list of a few of the accomplishments that the class of 2017 has already um, done in our time here. I'm gonna grab that. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's pretty short. Anyways, uh, yeah, we haven't done much. You have no, nothing to live up to. So, um, we won homecoming in 8th, 9th, 10th, and 12th grade. And we had a, a little hiccup in 11th grade, but you can't win them all, even though we almost did. Uh, we were the last class to perform in the gym, and we will be the first class in the new theater. We were the first class to publish Roar with senior Lexi Graves on the cover. First senior class to wear colored socks at Kings, that's new. We had uh, 20 acceptances to UF, 27 to FSU, and among those we had Cornell, Emory, Georgetown, Rice, NYU, Miami, William & Mary. We had seven athletes sign to colleges. We're gonna be the first class to have Congressman Brian Mass speak at our graduation, because he wasn't a congressman before. Um, <laughs> for a senior class to graduate from the conservatory. Um, the seniors led the first undefeated SFC Independent yeah. League Championship football team in TK history. We also have the um, first TK National Championship in men's golf. On a somber note, we were the last class to do powder puff cheerleading, so sorry about that guys. Um, we are the presiding senior class while bagels were added to the lunch menu. <laughs> Uh, first freshman class to march at Disney World. Um, we had Enzo Lehrer and Caleb DeMarco on the 2017 All-County team for Song Central and Palm Beach. And Caleb was named a uh, goalie, like Florida Atlantic Coaches Association senior all-star. We had um, four national scholastic art winners, Austin Sharkey, Mark Powell, Coco Mendez, and Andrew Morris. Just kidding, Andrew, you're not a senior, you're a junior. He's a little confused, guys. Please be his friend next year, we're leaving. <laughs> Anyways, um, we were the first senior class to perform at the inauguration of Donald Trump. That was self-explanatory. Um, last senior class to have the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Sawyer. And happy birthday, by the way. Um, we had Palm Beach Bowes all area team fall athletes, Andrew Cozan, Alex Brown, and Christian Guida. Christian Guida, sorry. And Andrew Cozan was named the Sun Sentinels golf, Golfer of the Year for the third year in a row. So, uh, 
Timmy Martin, Carissa Martin, and Reed Champlin were recognized by the National Merit Scholar. Shit for it. Um, we were the first senior class to have a hurricane interrupt homecoming festivities. First class to have an authentic Victorian tea party in English Lit. Thank you, Ms. Jill Bardo. And cert last, but certainly, certainly not least, we're the best looking class, in my opinion. So, in all seriousness, I've been able to get to know many of you juniors, and not just Andrew Morris. <laughs> and I'm ex more than confident that you guys will rise to the occasion and become a great senior class, as we were. I have such confidence because I know you'll be led in this endeavor by a great leader. And at this time, I want to welcome uh, Jake Zimmerman down. So I can pass it over. President Obama was the president, and in history, um, let's see, iPhone 4S came out. Osama bin Laden was killed. And gas, gas was $4 a gallon. We've made progress. Um, movies of that, of your, of your seventh grade year, Avengers. Hunger Games, and Men in Black 3. On this piece of paper, we have different categories, and so what I do is I just go through the categories and find different things that people said. So the first category is you were supposed to write what you were good at. Dylan Corte was good at baseball, no surprise there. Joella liked laughing at Carissa Martin. I don't know, it was so funny. Gianni Williams loved playing Call of Duty. <laughs> oh, it gets better. Michael Alaniz, his one word response was blinking. <laughs> and Wiley was probably my favorite in this category, making my hair look stupid for school. Okay, moving on. Next category, what I like the most. Mackenzie Diddle likes singing and playing volleyball. Carissa liked reading, no surprise there. Timmy Martin playing the computer. Emily Heath dancing. Hannah Neese making people laugh. And Grace Brittenall hanging out with her friends. But as she emphasizes several times on her paper, she loves monkeys. All right, I don't need know what to make of that. Next category, what I value the most. Okay, well, let's see. Dylan Costco having a relationship with the Lord. And by the way, I did see quite a few serious um, comments like that, which I always appreciate. Nick Hintz, God. Jacob Brodnick, honesty, of course. Nick Metabilia, his dog. Let's see here. Kayla Marshall, 
my mom, dad, and then horses. And might I add, that was before her friends. So horses are more important than her friends. At least they were in seventh grade. Chase Bender, Chuck Norris. <laughs> Any of you old for this group? I, I'm throwing that out there, I'm not sure. Dana Weininger, hers was a bit unusual as well. Pickles, bow tie noodles, and tacos. In that order. Alrighty, moving right along. What are things you get angry about? Well, Bradley Benoci, losing at anything, and I've had it in class, and I will tell you that is true. Nothing has changed. Uh, Tommy Lucas, making pe fun, ma people making fun of my height. Sorry, Tommy. <laughs> Great concern to me, Jane Lewinsky, when Timmy Martin played with my hair in Bible. I want to know right now where Mr. Huther was in this class, because evidently he missed that one. I've addressed it. Um, and something else that someone got angry about, Cassidy got mad at Evan Walt. I have no idea why. But there is something uh, later on that might explain that. Okay, just saying. A little foreshadowing there. Secret crushes in seventh grade. I love it. Deuce, like Delia. These are your words, not mine. I do not make this stuff up. Skyler. Like Jacob Rodneck, because he's honest. Because he's honest, we know. And Frankie liked Emily. He. Interesting. Okay, moving on. What do I worry about? Megan Schaefer, Herman worried about her grades. Lexi uh, was worrying about frogs and being attacked by a shark at the beach, which I know that's a big concern in seventh grade. Miles Forbes, you were worried about getting attacked by a tiger? <laughs> I think the shark is more of a concern than the other. Who knows? Cam Cameron Brigham, the boogeyman. Chase, the IRS, and termites. <laughs> Which I can see how those two things can go hand in hand. Thank you for enlightening us. Alex Brown and Reese Lowe, they were worried about zombies and the end of the world. Can I just tell you, those, those things do not exist, in case you do not know that, okay? But you guys were evidently very worried. Saying. Christian Guida, this one also was very interesting to me. He was worried about getting AIDS in this category. And then, now I have to explain this, and then under another category, which is what he wanted to accomplish, he wanted to make sure he accomplished not to get AIDS. So my conclusion from that was, we need to get him in a health class before he leaves here. Not that hard to figure it out. Okay, just saying. All right, recently I learned. Well, Danielle Segal, school is boring. Alec and Nico, math is hard. Gravity is me. <laughs> Christian Garcia, how to, now this is what you put. I don't even know if this is how you're supposed to say it. How to make the dub step. <laughs> now, recently Savannah Schwartz learned that Michael Alaness was very attractive. <laughs> Marks, I can make my eyes open really big. And Maddie on hers said she learned how big Alma's eyes could get in class. This is funny. I don't know if you guys sat next to each other making eyes at each other. I don't know. I just thought that was funny. Victoria, 
She was learning that speech class with Mrs. Halbert had emotionally scared both of them. I don't know. My favorite, though, and no surprise here, was Nathaniel Grievous, that biting people is frowned upon. Yes, in all circles, that is frowned upon Nathaniel, wherever you are. Okay. Ten years from now, well, let's see what the lofty goals were in seventh grade. Kayla Barantes, this actually was a good one, how to lead someone to Christ and to start a mission. Good for you, Kayla. Ashlyn Weston, to go skydiving sky and travel the world. Another serious one, Summer, singing on Broadway and witnessing for Christ with her talent. I like that one. Nathan Winters, ten years from now, wanted to be friends with Coach Tolson. Interesting. He's a great guy. Lauren McCullough, having a piggy as a pet. My favorite, though, had to be Frankie's in this category. Ten years from now, he wanted to own a pony and be riding off in the sunset on his new Boeing jet after drinking a cup of Cuban coffee. <laughs> All right, I'm almost done. It gets better. What would you like to accomplish at some point in your life? Max Meyer, to teach mathematics to upcoming teachers. Evidently, we are not going to Sorry, Max. I don't know what to tell you. Aubrey Rinker. Uh, she wanted to accomplish good spelling and proper grammar, which, you know, that put a smile on my face. <laughs> Peyton wanted to go skydiving with her dog. <laughs> and Jared Kirkpatrick, of course, I don't know how you're going to accomplish this, but climbing Mount Everest without getting cold. If you accomplish that, would you let me know how it was done? All right. Last category. Best thing about junior high. Brianne, Brianne Dunn, sorry. The best thing about junior high for Brianne was Bradley Minocci. Who oh! was getting angry in class because he was losing? Okay, Skylar. Being asked to dance with Jacob Brodnick, Mr. Honesty. Christy Martin, when Kirsten and I got kicked out of my mom's class when we were scared when we scared her by hiding underneath her desk. So she kicked you out, Christy, so sorry. I hesitated on putting this one, but I did think it was funny. Let's take it context, please. Best thing about junior high for Evan? All the lovers I had. you were mad at Evan earlier, maybe you need to see me and see if we work that out, because I don't know what happened here. It has been a privilege to work with you. I know most of you I have not taught, but um, this really has been a fun class to watch. So I hope that your years are successful, and obviously I hope you achieve more than what's on this paper. All right, God bless you. of the seniors and prefects to circle around the juniors as we uh, enter into time of prayer for them. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful school and for this beautiful day and for all of these wonderful people around me. I ask that you will especially bless this upcoming senior class in a very special way, that you would bless them abundantly and tremendously in everything that they do. I ask that you will put your hand upon them and that you will help them with whatever they hope to accomplish, that you will just give them the strength and the courage to do so. I thank you for all the gifts that you've given them and for all the talents and skills that you bless them with, and I ask that you will help them to shape and mold them um, into the people that they will become, and that they may be able to use these talents for your honor and for your glory. I ask that you will shed your light and your love within them, that they can be candles for the light to see you through them, through their words, through their actions, through their thoughts. I thank you for each and every single student and for what they bring to this school. 
and I ask that you will guide them in the future as they're um, making decisions about colleges, that you would just give them the wisdom and the knowledge about what college would be best for them. I thank you for everything in your name. Amen. Dear God, uh, thank you for this day. Thank you for a wonderful senior year so far, Lord. Uh, thank you for this opportunity that you've given all of us to come and stand around these juniors and pray over them. Lord, I pray that you would pour your blessings on them and that you would just open every single door for them and that they live their senior year to the fullest. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this junior class that's coming up to be seniors next year at King's. Lord, I pray that you give them the bravery to share your word with others and to be an example for the other classes that follow behind them. I pray that every grade that comes through King's reaches more and more people in the world for you. I pray these things in your name. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today, God, and thank you for this space, Lord. We want to thank you for this school, God, and just the wonderful work that does in each and our, all of our lives, God. I want to pray for the, the senior class, Lord, uh, first and foremost, Lord, as, as we go off into the world, God, I pray, Lord, that you be in, um, in us and with us in each step of the way, God, that if there's any time of need, Lord, that we can come to you, Lord, that we know that you're a provider, God. God, I want to pray for this upcoming senior class, the juniors, Lord. I pray that you give them boldness, Lord. God, I pray for their, their prefects, their student council, Lord. I pray that they can be in their classes, Lord, just spreading your word. I pray, Lord, that you, you build them up, you strengthen them, you allow them um, to, to be used by you, God. I pray, Lord, that you just give them the strength and the boldness to have those awkward conversations, Lord, to talk about you, God. Lord, I pray that this class, Lord, you just bring them up in a mighty way, God. I pray that you have a, a hedge of protection around them, God. I pray that they have an awesome senior year, Lord, but I pray that they do that in, in your name, God. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for um, just raising them up, Lord, and just bringing them into this space, God. I want to thank you for just Jesus, Lord, and, and the wonderful work that you did on the cross for us, God. I praise you and thank you for just the, the shed of your blood that allows us to have the free gift of salvation, God. I pray, Lord, um, if there's any juniors, Lord, that they don't know you, God, I pray that they come to know you throughout the senior year, God. I pray, Lord, that um, the believers in the junior class, Lord, that they can, they can truly spread your gospel more than I pray, God, that you just use them in a mighty way, Lord. In your name I pray, amen.